Yeah, I promise we'll get back to regular scheduled programming when this crazy freaking day is over. When we don't have any more games, taking up the morning slots wherein we'd actually be recording most of our content. So, heading into today's Ottawa Senators and Toronto Maple Leafs game, we had ourselves some pretty interesting conversation going around surrounding the defense core. Because yesterday, the Maple Leafs ended up calling up defenseman Maxime Lajoie from the Toronto Marlies. And this was seen as a pretty big move. Hey, are the Leafs finally going to make a defenseman trade? Are they already thinking of whom they're going to ship out and Lajoie's going to be the guy to come back in? This could be huge, and a lot of people were saying, wait, this could be an indicator as to what could be coming up soon. And then we realized why exactly they were making this transition, what was going on, and why everything went down the way it did. He had David Alter tweeting this out, that the Leafs have recalled Lajoie from the Marlies. Looks like David Camp was moved to the IR to make room for him on the 23-man active roster. Yesterday, Sheldon Keefe said they gave Jake McCabe and Mark Giordano off of practice, while noting that McCabe was still a bit banged up following the win against Dallas. Making sense of the move, it's very likely the Leafs moved Yarncrow from IR to LTIR to make the money work, unless they use some other emergency exception, which doesn't appear to be the case since Yarncrow is out week to week. However, today we now know what exactly is going on, and it's confirmed by Sheldon Keefe that there are going to be two defensemen actually out of the lineup for tonight's game. Mark Giordano is day-to-day -day with a lower body injury, and he also adds that it might be a bit longer than just day-to-day -day, and that the injury occurred in the last game. Connor Timmins is also ill. So there are two guys right there on the decor in both Timmins and Giordano who are out. You could say this opens up the door for a Lajoie to make his debut with the team in this stint. You're probably going to see, I don't know, William Lagason also make some time because... Look, with the amount of guys you need to fill up a roster in the NHL, this probably seems like the most appropriate course of action. So for the Maple Leafs, heading over against an Ottawa Senators team that has just been trying to chomp at the bit for more out of this season, this could be a pretty interesting test for some of the guys they have in their depth and throughout the rest of their AHL system to see what they can do at the NHL level. Now, you can make a pretty big case to say that the Ottawa Senators haven't really been playing like an NHL team as of late, but still, there's some good momentum to be built here if everything's able to go the right way. But also, when it comes to guys missing time in the NHL, I wanted to go out there and talk about this, even though the game is already going on. Right now, the New York Islanders are playing off against the Calgary Flames. It was another one of these early games, 10 a.m. PST start, and I'm kind of pissed off. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty pissed off, actually, because we learned like an hour before the game that Alexander Romanov is day-to-day -day with a lower body injury. Now, don't you just love it when teams release updates on their players an hour before a game that starts way before you wake up normal time, and you have Alexander Romanov on your fantasy team, and you've got three other defensemen sitting on your bench because the game starts so gosh darn early? My goodness, dude, he was active last night, and I was like, okay, we're just going to put him on because of the shot block and machine against the Calgary team that's been flying in all cylinders. I mean, they're up 3 nothing for crying out loud. And what? The guy ends up not playing. I've got Quinn Hughes, Mike Matheson, and Erica Branson sitting on my bench, and nothing to show for it. So I have already been in a pretty tough spot the past few days here in terms of fantasy hockey, and this kind of gets even worse. I was going to lose my matchup already. And now, with Romanov wasting a spot this early Saturday morning, I guess I'm going to lose even harder now. But, yeah, I get it. It's kind of my fault for always, you know, waking up after 10 p.m. But, whatever. It is what it is. There are going to be other fantasy weeks, right? Romanov is out. There are a few other guys that have been returning to lineups, etc. And we can talk about those more so as the videos go on throughout the day. But I wanted to get that Romanov thing in there just because it did kind of piss me off. And at the end of the day, I don't know, it's my YouTube channel. I talk about what I want to talk about. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Firstly, about the Toronto Maple Leafs losing out on two defenders for tonight's game against the Senators. What are your thoughts on Alexander Romanov not being part of this team? And he's going to be day-to-day, -day, so... 
Yeah, hopefully he's able to recover properly because, hey, the Islanders kind of need a shot blocking, right? I mean, they're down 3 nothing. If Romanov blocked a shot or two, maybe they wouldn't be that down bad. But either way, thoughts in the comment section below about all of these updates. How do you think Lajoie and Lagesson or whomever it is suiting up for the Leafs on their decor today? How do you think they're going to do? What are your thoughts on Giordano being out and Connor Timmins as well? I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.